Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will learn about redundant phrases in English. It will help you to avoid common English mistakes and sharpen your English communication skills. What are redundant phrases or words? We often use phrases in our everyday language that include unnecessary words, making our sentences longer and less clear. These are called redundant phrases. By trimming out the extra words, we can make our language more precise and effective. So, stick around as we explore some common redundant phrases that even advanced English speakers often use and learn how to streamline your speech for better communication. Let's get started. The first on my list is, I will revert back to you tomorrow. This is a common mistake people make while speaking and writing English. Revert means to go back or respond to someone. And back also means to return to someone or something. Both revert and back mean almost the same thing. They both talk about going back or returning. So when you say revert back, you're repeating the idea twice. You don't need to say the same thing twice. Just saying revert is enough because it already means to return or respond. So you can simply say, I will revert to you tomorrow. Here's the next one. Can you repeat that again, please? Now in this sentence, repeat means to say or do something one more time. And again also means one more time. When you say repeat, you already mean to do something again. So when you add again, you're saying one more time twice. That does not sound right. You don't need to use both words. Just saying repeat is enough because it already means to do it again. So you can simply say, can you repeat that please? Here's the next one. We need to do some advanced planning for the project. Now, planning means thinking ahead or making decisions about what to do in the future. And advance also means thinking ahead or doing something before it's needed. Just saying planning is enough because it already means preparing in advance. Using both advance and planning is like saying the same thing twice. It doesn't add anything new to your sentence. It's better to just say planning, which is shorter and still makes sense. So you can simply say, we need to do some planning for the project. Up next is the end result was not what we expected. What do you think which word in this sentence is unnecessary? Result means the outcome of something and the end also means the final part of something. You don't have to use both words. Simply saying result is sufficient because it already refers to the final outcome. So you can just say the result was not what we expected. Here's the next one. She received a free gift with her purchase. When you say, she received a free gift with her purchase, the word free is not needed because a gift is always free. A gift is something given without expecting anything in return. So. Saying free gift is like saying wet water. It repeats the same idea twice. It's already understood that a gift doesn't cost anything. Instead, you can just say, she received a gift with her purchase. This is shorter and clearer. 
I hope you got it. Up next is, it was an unexpected surprise to see you here. Now, what's wrong with this? A surprise is something that is not expected. So, by saying unexpected surprise, you're repeating the same idea twice. A surprise is always something that happens when you don't expect it, right? So, saying unexpected surprise is like repeating yourself. Instead, you can just say, it was a surprise to see you here. This is shorter and clearer. Next up is, he made an unintentional mistake on the form. The word unintentional is not needed because a mistake is something that happens by accident or without planning. So saying unintentional mistake is like saying the same thing twice. Instead, you can just say, he made a mistake on the form. This sounds much better and clearer. Here's the next one. Let's join together to make this event a success. The word join already means coming together. So adding together is extra. You can simply say, let's join to make this event a success and it still gets the message across perfectly. By saying join together, you're repeating the same idea twice. Next on my list is, the company is known for its new innovations. When you say, the company is known for its new innovations, the word new is not needed because an innovation is something new or original by definition. Innovation already means something new and original. So, adding new before it is unnecessary. You can just say, the company is known for its innovations and it makes perfect sense without repeating the idea. Here comes the next one. I need to withdraw cash from the ATM machine. Now, ATM is short for automated teller machine. When you say ATM machine, you're really saying machine twice. So adding the word machine after ATM is unnecessary and redundant. Instead, you can just say, I need to withdraw cash from the ATM. It's shorter and makes more sense. Have you ever found yourself using these redundant sentences? If you answered yes, now you know which words to cut out to sound more precise and clear without repeating yourself. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like to see part two of this English lesson, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss out on more lessons like this one. I'll be back soon with another exciting English lesson. Until then, happy learning.